Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a cinematic intro. You can download these files and Filmora project files from patreon.com. Let's get started. First, drop the background image on track 1 and make it 4 seconds and 6 frame long. Adjust the scale, then go to the color and adjust exposure to minus 13, contrast to 17, shadow to minus 31 and white to minus 8. After that, go to the curves and adjust the luma curves. Next, go to the color wheel and adjust the highlights, midtones and shadows towards the dark side. Then go to the stock media and drop the black solid color. Go to the mask, select the circle mask, then invert the mask and adjust the mask scale and blur strength to create a Vignite effect. After that, drop flare to image on track 3. Go to the effects tab and apply tint effect from new blue effects. Change the tint color to dark red color and set tint to 14, saturation to 34, brightness to minus 10 and film gamma to 10. Then change the blend mode to screen, set opacity to 33 and on opacity keyframe. Change the opacity value randomly after every 5 to 6 frames until the end to create a flickering effect. Right click on it and convert it to a compound clip. Then set the opacity to 79. Next drop flare 1 on track 4, adjust the duration, change the blend mode to screen and reduce the opacity at the start. On opacity keyframe, change the value randomly after every 6 to 7 frames to create a flickering effect. Now go to the titles and drop the default title on track 5, adjust the duration and enter your word. Change the font to Norwester, then click on advanced and increase the text spacing, then click on apply. Duplicate it on above track and change the color to gray. You can use any gray color shade. Then set X to 5 to create a kind of fake light on the edges of the text. Next, drop the map image on track 7, adjust the scale and position, change the blend mode to multiply, and adjust the map position on the text. And on the position keyframe at the start, adjust the map position towards the right side at the end to create a kind of reflection on the text. Don't worry about the visible black portion of the map, we will fix it. Place the default title again on a top track. Enter your word and change the font to Muller Light. Or you can choose Montserrat font. Adjust the scale and place it above the main text. Go to the animation and select appearing. Adjust the animation timing with the slider and reduce the title by 10 frames from the start. Then adjust the position. Then select all the text and copy and paste on a blank space. Change the font color to black and take a snapshot. We will use this snapshot as a mask. Select all the text including the map and convert it to a compound clip. Now select the text compound clip. Go to the mask. Click on import mask and select the snapshot. Then select the mask from here. Now you will get this type of animation without a black portion. At the start, set the scale to 3000 and adjust the position and on keyframes. After 15 frames, set the scale to 85 or 80 and reset the position. Then at the end, Set the scale to 60 or 65. Shift the compound clip to the above track. Go to the stickers and apply lens flare on track 5 at the 15th frame. Adjust the position and scale and on keyframes. At the end, adjust the flare according to the text. 
create a zoom in effect on a background using a scale keyframes. Add shadow to the text compound clip, then go to the filters and apply cine noise effect from the cinematic folder to add a bit of noise. From porous FX, apply the prism effect and adjust the prism amount. Apply the up and down to shake effect at the 15th frame for 6 frames and deselect the RBG separate. Then apply cinematic bar and set the bar height to 0.08. Now let's render the project to see the preview. To create more variation, you can give motion to the flare or use different flares from stickers. Do check them out by yourself. That's all for today's video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you all in my next video.